Hi guy, today I thought we'd have a, a talk about the uh, Nintendo Switch presentation and, and basically the whole announcement and the big thing that's happened with it. I mean, I got up, <laughs> must have been at 3.40am, oh my god, that, that, that was quite a surprise, I can promise. And I went, got up and stumbled into the uh, kitchen and made a, a drink of coffee just to wake me up, went and sat in the living room and turned the screen on and left the stream running with a bit of music on. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up and it's five past six. <laughs> I completely, I fell asleep. It's my own fault for waiting 20 minutes before. I'm, but anyway, I'm not talking about that too much. Uh, get Well, a few a few hours later, after recovering, I sat down and watched the stream in full. At least I didn't go onto any new sites and ruin it for myself. Now, uh, my first impression is, going up to this, I was so excited. You know, this was the thing that Nintendo's going to recover itself. It's going to pick up its game and we're going to get back into the whole console war and sort, you know, it's, it's Nintendo's going to be on top. That's that sort of attitude. I'm really, really excited for everything that's going to happen. And then I watched the presentation and I've never felt myself feel so miserable and depressed so quickly. The, uh, what, what? Let's just have a quick run through because as as I was watching, I was just scribbling notes. Now, again, bear in mind this is going to be the big event, the big real art, really. Them as a company, and you know they need to go back and get the the rolled audience and start rebuilding and do something really special. And then they walk out. This president, who is basically he's just is a salary man. He's wearing a suit with the glasses on, and he's very boring and monotone and. And even though there's a voiceover on him, you can hear him talking underneath, and it, and it's just so. It was such a stupid idea. Why didn't you get one? Someone like Reggie, someone who can entice people and be a bit enthusiastic and all the rest. I mean, that guy's fine for maybe smaller things or less prominent stuff where you try to impress a part of a new system on. But anyway, uh, next thing of course was the the March the third release date. That was a big surprise. I was expecting uh, later on, but. A good one. The price was the shocker, $299.99 or about 280 quid if you're in the UK. Uh, for me, I've been expecting 249 especially with all the rumours flying around. And I think that price they've done it at, I think it's wrong. Because you're going to miss a lot of impulse buyers and people looking at it as a more of a portable system and thinking, well, I could get the kids or such and such a, a, a 3DS. Oh, it's like, well, why don't I need to spend 300 quid on that one? I've already got a tablet. And there's another market they could have sort of attacked there. And they've not, I just think it's too expensive to be, a, I say, as an impulse buy. It should have been a lot, a lot cheaper. Uh, well, so they brought up the paid online service, comparable, I suppose, to PS4 and Xbox. So it wasn't a big thing, but uh, it's to be expected, really. But one thing they did mention was like all oh, the NES and SNES and so on, ROMs, where they did make a, a, like one a month or something if you were a subscriber free. But it would only be there for that month, which is sort of similar to the PS, uh, PSN market, except once you agree to take a game, it's yours, it's in your library, you keep it. It's a very weird lock-off again, but ugh, that's Nintendo and the odd way they deal with things. Uh, next up I wrote about uh, uh, no region lock-in. That's quite nice, actually, because uh, it just means you can get any of the games from anywhere. Hopefully, they don't change their mind on that one. Uh, one thing I did note, again, this is a big thing, the big real art. They're going to try to do exciting things. You need some enthusiasm, pushing stuff. And they got this, like, really sterile, bawdy sounded translator doing all the voice, just the same voices over and over, and you just, like... Couldn't you have come up with better? You've got this. It's been lined up for months. You've done nothing in news. You've you you've not even dribbled stuff out. Half the time it sounds like hackers have been at your bloody systems to get little rumours and info and stuff like that. And you've got the most boring person straight away on the off. And they did improve it a bit when they brought one of the directors out later. But he, again, he, you know, there's no ayahuasca, and it just it just oh it just it felt like they needed a marketing department they needed somebody to to push it properly and, and i just nintendo of japan just can't do it i mean it's maybe they should have just fallen completely on reggie i don't know uh they showed off the the joy cons as well i was looking at them after i was quite 
shot really to see him at about 75 pounds would be about 85 90 dollars or whatever in the us but my god that were expensive for an accessory especially for launch i mean you don't want to break them or lose them that's the other thing i mean these are portable if you drop or lose these things and it will happen you know it, it's it's I'm always losing stuff that's related to my phone. I don't know, it might be much cheaper things, but the fact is I don't care as much because they're disposable. This things means you won't risk, you know, what would you risk taking an extra 75 quid these little tiny plug on remote? You know, it adds to the negativity, I'm afraid. And they did talk about the, the HD rumble, which was a weird thing to get excited about. Because for me, Rumble's a very passive experience. It's okay at first. Well, it's exciting at first, because I can remember when I first played Star Fox 64 a long time ago. But that feeling of sitting there and being in a shoot, and it's like, oh, wow, the whole joypad's shaking, and it would change depending on what was going on, and that was fantastic. But within, like, a year or two of experience that, it just you expect it to just be there in the background, and it's nothing new, and it's nothing exciting. And no matter how much the shaking a little wiggly controller in your fingers, I mean, it's just going to become, it's just become the norm. And But it's not really of any interest, at least to me. But uh, another thing I did write out, I noted down, was there was a lack of kids in the ad, which, uh, again, I thought that was a, a, at least they were not appealing to a, 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 as much of a younger audience. It all seemed to be late teens and those in the 20s. Big change for them, really. It really was. Uh, another thing I scribbled about there was no video capture, which I thought was a bit odd. I mean, you've got PSN, Xbox to compare to. You can record and share your games, and that's because then I realised afterwards that's because <laughs> oh my god, this was appalling. They mentioned that it's going to have uh, thirty-two gigabytes of internal sort storage. I mean, that wasn't even good enough for the bloody updates and a couple of games on the Wii U. And they've got the goal to put that in a, a portable system like that. I mean, RAM, you know, hard drive side, it's nothing. Just sticking a, a, a card inside. And then, and then it's, they've said that it's going to be like SD, the old mini SD card compatible on, and I think somewhere it's even 128 or 256 gig. Um, but again, that's the read speeds on them is not as good as actually being part of the hardware. So well, it was stupid. It really was stupid. And straight as soon as, you know, put me off. <laughs> uh, another one, a big shocker was the talk of this, this for voice chat. They're not going to actually have it built in like with the other systems. You have to actually, it's free at first, I think, up until summer. You have to get download a phone app, install it, and then after a while, either you have to pay for this or when you buy the machine later, just to be able to talk to other people, which all people won't do. So you just, you, you relegate in your, your voice chat off to a, a side thing. It's not part of the... It was like the same thing when PS4 didn't include a headset. It was, it was silly at the time. And uh, anyway, <laughs> moving on. Yeah, I think I moaned about the price already. I was so I, I highlighted this about eighteen times going over the price. It it just shocked me so much. <laughs> the other thing to compare that to is very very quickly. But if you look at the PS4 and the Xbox, because there's no real been talk of specs, but they are. I don't believe it's it, it's as similar. They didn't give much away on that front. But the fact is, they're like fifty sixty quid dollars, whatever cheaper than this system will be at new and they are pretty much more powerful and got more games and stuff and it's not going to compare on the shops again it's this wii u situation uh, uh there was a talk of some word uh, third party support with a very worrying bit there, and they seemed to force this guy out from sega and he was just he just didn't seem to want to be there and there was there was next to nothing from third parties i got to launch games in a bit but um yeah, the other big one I've highlighted was uh, nothing, nothing online in Japan and Europe right from day one. I mean, what a thing to to launch without no online, especially when you've got a lack of games. You need people going on like the VC equivalent or the online store, buying stuff, spending money because you're excited. This is this similar thing happened with the EU at the beginning. There was all the connection issues when you could get on, and I was I remember because dead excited. I went to buy this, that, and the other one. And there was next to nothing there. And that carried on for week after week after week. Uh, and then, as like I said, the, the launch lineup, you've got a few games at Skylanders. Oh, that's uh, third party. Just Dance. A game called 1-2 Switch. 
that was i think that's supposed to be about 40 50 quid and that, that looked like some it was like teller old boxing on, on the virtual boy and it had long arms and everything but it's you know, it's just a boxing game it, it looked like it should be a packing you know it's like it there's not going to be a packing game as well. That was the other shocker. I mean, packing games sell systems. They know this themselves. That's why they stuck Mario 64 in. It, it works. <laughs> you put a big, decent packing game in. Right, right, the Nairs right from the old one. Because Mario was a seller. It, oh, just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, Arms, that was another one they showed off, which was like a... Uh, yeah, that was the one with it. It was like a boxing game with the with the extending arms. That's what I mean. Sorry, that was the one that's like Tellrail Boxer. Uh, Splatoon. 2, sorry, I'm reading from notes. Splatoon Two. That's due around summer. This is the other thing. Next to none of the games we've shown up were coming out. The biggest one, the most amazing looking one, was Mario Odyssey. And towards the beginning, but I was watching that. I kept thinking, this really looks like Sonic Adventure. <laughs> You know, and they all talk about the city hub and that. And, but loads of it, it looked dark and gritty. And I was thinking to myself, this is not a, yeah, you know, this, this doesn't look like a Mario game. It looks more like, I'd say, like Sonic Adventure. But then to say it's coming out at Christmas. Ugh. The only other good game that really stood out to me was Xenoblade 2. That did look awesome. Quite a promising game. But uh, again, they showed very, very little. But uh, I don't know. I mean, overall, I'm very, very disappointed with it. I mean, oh, I'm trying to find the words for this, but the launching almost immediately reminded me of the the Saturn launch away. Oh, it's in the shops. I mean, it's only it's like you know, it's like it's not even it's only for two months away. They've got hardly any games to show it, right? Next to nothing from third parties. All a big lit, long list, like months and months away, and often like so, uh, June and July and summer. And then big ones in winter. The Zelda, sorry, is going to be a big launch title. But that's being that's really expensive on the Switch, where it's cheaper on the Wii U, yet it's the same game. So it's a bit of a con, really. Uh, but there's, no, there's nothing there to grab. There's nothing that says, buy me, buy me, buy me. And it just feels like they're just pushing it, farting it out through the door when it's, not, it's clearly not finished because the online's not ready. So why not just delay it and maybe push it out quarter three or closer to Christmas, you know, and have a big overlaunch, then you'll have more games lined up for it. But they look, right now, they look to be launching with about four or five games. And, oh, oh Nintendo. <laughs> and then there's talk that there might actually be shortages, and that's rumours that nothing was talked about in this, but all the rumours that's come about after. It's, it's just, it, it completely put me off. I was hoping I'd watch it, I'd be convinced, and I'd go and get a pre-order. So, will I be buying one? I'm going to leave it till Christmas, guys. I really, I saw nothing there that excited me or interested me, and I, I just don't think it's going to come around the corner. Zelda's probably the biggest one for me, but again, you would probably get a second-hand Wii U, and have just as good a time with that version than I would with the Switch, but what can I say? So, yeah, so you just call me deflated. I'm a, a bit put off, and... Uh, Hopefully they'll improve things, but from what I've seen, it's the Wii U stuff all over again. And I really think they need to hand, Japan needs to give up control of stuff like this and pass it back to the US. That's where all the success really has come from. The, the original Wii was a fluke. It was just a fluke. It hit the market at the right time, pre-mobiles and stuff, you know, but... It was it was a, a novelty. It was excitement. People had that sort of spare time, and they wanted to play some sort of silly game. And ugh, well, I don't know. Hopefully, we're gonna get a better outlook in future. But that's it for me for now, guys. As always, uh, thanks for thanks for watching and listening, and uh, look forward to another video soon.